Last up, uh, Google Cloud bets on EOS blockchain venturing further into crypto. A couple of days ago, I'd actually talked about how everything was sliding down. Uh, you know, two days ago was awful. And then the only one that was going up was EOS. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, I own EOS and EOS hasn't done jack for like, for like years, it seems like. And I was like, what the heck happened there? This is what happened. And everybody told me in the comment section. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. But this article isn't about that. I, I don't really care about that. What I care about is the bulk of it where it talks about how many projects Google has actually gotten into. And this first sentence kind of lays out exactly how the article is going to be going to go. It states blockchain is undergoing a critical turning point, shifting from an emerging technology into a useful business tool that enterprises want to incorporate into existing IT stacks. You know how good an article is going to go by the first sentence. So I had to look up I'm like who wrote this? Rachel Wolfson. So I looked up her and she's a journalist, public speaker, and podcast host. 10 years experience about technology. Has been covering blockchain and crypto since 2017. And she's writing a whole book on enterprise blockchain. So pretty smart lady. Looks like she knows exactly what she's talking about. And it's going to be pretty much disseminated right around now. So let's take a look at what she says. So she states, Google Cloud recently became a network block producer by joining the EOS blockchain community. Now, just to be clear, EOS blockchain producers, there's only 21 of them, and you had to vote them in. So it's not like they are instantly in, but they are a big player, and if they get voted in, hint, hint, they probably will be. Uh, I think it'll be you know, pretty good to bring some notoriety to EOS. And then it states, Alan Day, developer advocate at Google Cloud, told Cointelegraph that Google is broadly interested in open source protocols and DLT, or distributed ledger technology, and that's big. When Google Cloud, or just Google, the company itself, goes, hey, distributed ledger technology, that looks pretty good. That's good, but what's better is that they invest into digital asset or cryptocurrency like EOS. DLT is the overarching technology that deals with blockchain. China talks about how great distributed ledger technology is. They do not talk about Bitcoin. They talk about DLT. And these companies are going to start talking about blockchain and distributed ledger technology. But they're not going to say cryptocurrencies, specifically in digital assets. So when Google comes out and says, hey, you know what? We like this and we like EOS and we like Hedera Hashgraph and we like da da da, -da Theta, that's big. So moving on, earlier this year, Google Cloud also joined Hedera Hashgraph, Governing Council, enabling Google Cloud to operate a Hedera network node. In addition, Google Cloud supports for DLT. Amazon Web Service is listed as a cloud service provider for China's blockchain-based service network. And moving down, they explain that Google Cloud will leverage advanced security measures on EOS and is building security through progressive layers. Lastly, Kevin Rose, the senior, senior VP of blockchain, uh, public blockchain engagement at Block One, which is the company behind EOS, told Cointelegraph that Google's participation on EOS will enable new business models for both parties to drive the digital economy. Now, I'm going to read you something right now, and it's from Alistar Rennie. And Alistar is the GM of IBM Blockchain. And I want you to realize that IBM Blockchain is a not a decentralized, it is a centralized, not permissionless, but permissioned blockchain that is collected inside IBM and it is only contained in there and it is made for corporations. It is the exact opposite of what we are trying to achieve. However, it has had some success because businesses tend to trust big corporations. However, I do not think they will be overall successful because IBM is a monstrous corporation and they will never be as nimble or as quick or able to pivot and make moves like a smaller company can and that's where innovation comes into. However, this is what he states. Blockchain delivers the missing element of trust that cloud technology alone can provide. Cloud providers are growing increasingly interested in blockchain as a means to enable greater trust and seamless collaboration among disparate stakeholders. So again, he's saying blockchain, not a specific project, just blockchain. So when you ever hear IBM blockchain, don't get excited. It's not really that big of, big of a deal. It's a big deal if you're a corporation and want a permissioned, closed, centralized blockchain. And to finish up, it states, will major firms bring centralization to blockchain? Because that's the big question. With these big corporations moving in, is now everything going to become centralized? Well, this it's just all summed up right here. So Google Cloud Service is moving into EOS and they want to become a block producer. But just like I talked about, but since the network, EOS network relies on 21 block producers only that must be voted in by token holders. It seems that concerns over one block producer or node 
validator, failing to carry out governance duties should not result in network failure. And that's one of those things. Just because Google's there and they're a big entity does not mean that they will hogtie and run everything to the ground. They're just one. However, we have to be a little bit vigilant when these big corporations move into our space. Me personally, my final thoughts are this. EOS needed this. They they needed this win because they haven't been doing anything for the longest time. I mean, they've they've done things with voice and that's supposed to launch as, as some kind of social network, but I don't hear anything about it. I don't know if you have. And I don't really hear anything about EOS. The only thing I, time I hear about EOS is when I get some notification of some random airdrop of some random different token that does absolutely nothing. So I hope this actually leads to a catalyst and it does good things because... Uh, EOS could need bigger wins. So let me just think of the comment section. And that is it for today. Lastly, I'll say this. If you're looking for a alternative to Coinbase or looking for some type of uh, wallet or some uh, decentralized finance or whatever else you're looking for, here is my exchange of wallet fees. And it's a spreadsheet that I put together. And it goes over everything from you know Coinbase and all their different fees that they have to my one, two, three punch, which is uh, Kraken Celsius Voyager. And I talk about their fees and how much you actually get just for keeping on your tokens or your cryptocurrencies as far as your interest rate. And just so you know, uh, Celsius is my personal favorite. And I have 30% of my entire portfolio and growing actually. Uh, and it's over there right now getting these types of interest rates. And actually, this is wrong. I need to update this. The, the interest rates on some of these are way higher, especially with uh, Bitcoin. I think it's like 6 point something percent. And USDC is like, I don't know, 12, 14 percent, somewhere around there. Anyhow, so everything from Voyager, Gemini, Binance, Uphold, uh, SwiftX, Cash App, eToro, I don't recommend them, Crypto.com. And these are all the ones that I've actually used and recommend or uh, do not recommend. To find the spreadsheet, just look in the description of every one of my videos. There's going to be a link. It's going to look like this, and I'll send you over to the exchange fees spreadsheet. So take a look at that, and then and then just decide if you've been around for a while. You know what it was like in 2017. You could not get into an exchange to offload some of your tokens or your cryptocurrencies because there was so much volume. They wouldn't let anybody in, and they were crashing. So I recommend highly for the next bull run, which I think is next year, uh, to sign up for as many different uh, exchanges and wallets as you possibly can. So you can fill out or complete your exit strategy now you can go to kraken or voyager or gemini or any of these places directly to them and sign up that's fine but if you use my affiliate link you get between 10 and 25 dollars and that is totally up to you so that is it for today thanks again for sticking with me if you like these types of videos the two months gonna pop up on your left and right youtube kind of controls some of that and uh, that is it for today so thanks again really appreciate it see you on the next one